This one is a patron vote winner and he does some amazing vocals. I've been told that it's a bit emotional, wow. so uh, beware. But also go check out Charismatic Voices channel. She actually sculpts Will Ramos in a video. So go check out after this. But for now, let's watch this together. You know with rain sounds, you know you're gonna get something that is emotional and it's really, really setting the scene of sadness. Good production. Gonna be so dramatic. It's so dynamic. He's crazy, crazy good. Wow, it's so complex. It's Wow, I'm getting, there's so much going on because you've got all these polyrhythms, which basically means that there are contrasting rhythms going on at the same time. That theme that kind of repeats and goes over, but then the guitars are kind of doing their own thing. It's really, really, really complex. Yet it's kind of like organized chaos, which I guess is a good metaphor for what they're trying to portray in this. I cannot get over how quickly he's moving between like <gasps> like a really kind of um, a fry uh, kind of ah! <laughs> uh, yeah I am not so good at these uh, a fry sound really really quickly into a heavier false chord now as I say check out that video on charismatic voices channel because there's more going on but it and it's really really interesting but uh, yeah it's amazing how much control he has over that for sure So there, again, I love how you've got this imagery of him having like a really lovely time and you kind of go back to simplicity. It's not that simple, but simplicity within the melody and everything feels really together. And then you're, I think we're about to move back into those polyrhythms again. No, just changing time signatures, okay. So complex. I want to go back to that. So let's go back to like 
255. I think we had a bar of four and then a bar of five. So you're getting like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. When you have uneven time signatures like that, it makes you feel a little bit uneasy. And, um, you know, we like things to be kind of rhythmic and even, but this, uh, that's the point. <laughs> One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, five. So a five, three, and then a five. One, two. I guess. Yeah. There's so much going on. I'm trying to like decipher the music theory in it. Wow. I, you know, I'm trying to decipher all the music theory in this and then I'm just getting drawn into the story and the emotion, which is unusual because you feel like when you're hearing things that you don't really hear the words so easily and it still just <laughs> draws you in. You wouldn't expect to. Feel emotional. I love those stops. Oh, I'm going to go back and listen to that solo properly because it sounded like it's going to be amazing. What I was thinking about was, I've said this before, I'm like, I don't know how people listen to this while they sleep, but actually the more I listen to uh, really harsh vocals, I, I realize that there's something so relaxing and comforting. I think it's because it covers so much of a wide frequency spectrum. It's also interesting because white noise and brown noise or whatever noise they cover different frequency spectrums but they are kind of similar they are uneven vibrations of sound which makes a kind of noise that is kind of what you're hearing that noise is uh, harsh vocals so you know a lot of people listen to white noise to go to sleep or different colored noises so i kind of get it now the more i listen okay let's go back to 412, I think we're gonna get an amazing guitar solo. <laughs> You know what's amazing as well is that there is the virtuosity that I would associate with symphonic metal with the guitar here. It's almost, it's very cinematic, it's very uh, emotive, yet with the vocals and even the drums it's kind of more what I would class as deathcore and it's kind of an unusual combination. It sounds weird, I find it more unusual than kind of taking a completely different genre and combining it with with metal especially symphonic metal but uh it really really works it makes it so dramatic <laughs> so unusual and then the synths it's like a meditation app <laughs> That was really clever because throughout, I have to say, the 
the texture is fuzzy and it normally is within harsh vocals because of the nature of harsh vocals it's really hard to get crisp consonants but there that one line you it just stands out you hear every single word and you're like oh man that's so sad oh no i'm gonna have to get i'm gonna have to go cry after this just suddenly stops. Oh, I'm in shock. Wow, that was heavy <laughs> in multiple ways. Oh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and you're gonna have a nice happy day after this. See you in the next one. Bye!